Hello, welcome to the Triceba special edition of JDC Diabetes Gems video. Triceba or Biglodec is a new basal insulin which has been globally launched recently. Here are a couple of questions. What is special about Biglodec or Triceba? Why do we require a new basal insulin? Since we are already having a lot of insulins and other medications for the treatment of diabetes. How this new insulin is going to be different from the already existing ones? This brief presentation, we believe, will be useful for both physicians and patients with diabetes. Deglunic has got a structure totally different from the existing basal insulins. The existing basal insulins are the NPH, which has been launched way back in 1950s. Then we had Glarge in our Landis in 2000. And then came Detimer on Levima in 2004. These insulins have got a lot of limitations are there for these insulins. If you look at the structure of Decludec, as seen here, this is the A chain and this is the B chain. And in position 30, threonine is knocked out. And at position 20, line of the beta chain of the human insulin molecule. We have a glutamic acid ligand which is attached and onto it is attached a carbon 16 fatty diacid chain. This complex of this glutamic acid linker along with the fatty diacid side chain together contributes to the name dead glue duck. Why dead glue duck is different? You see here, dead glue duck is different because of its unique structure. It has got phenol and zinc in it. And upon injection, the phenol is lost, it diffuses. And what happens? The dihexamers, they link up to form long chains of soluble multi-hexamers. And these hexamers get linked together with the help of the fatty acid side chain, the glutamic acid linker, and with the help of the zinc core in the adjacent molecule. And here you see the long multi-hexamer chains of deglutac. And what happens next? This long chain that you see here, which has got a very high molecular weight, will help in very slow, gradual absorption or action of the molecule. So the absorption of a molecule is delayed when the molecular weight is big enough. And with rapid acting insulins like as part, we have very small molecular weight, monomers, which gets rapidly absorbed into the circulation. If you look at this chain, you can see the sink, which is getting lost at the tip of the chains, and along with that, the degluric monomers are released. And these monomers, which gets released at the end of this chain, will get gradually absorbed and it is a continuous slow process. So this is how this insulin is different from the already existing insulins. It has got a very long duration of action. The half-life of Degludec is more than 25 hours which is double that of 
the existing basal insulin glands. So this insulin can be injected once daily. It can be the morning, it can be the afternoon, next day it can be the evening. Nothing happens because of the pretty long half-life. Degludic or Trisipa is one insulin which can be given in the presence of liver disease or renal disease without changing the dosages. And next is about the safety of this insulin, about the IGF-1 receptor binding capability, which is less. It is supposed to be even less than that of the human insulin. So it has got absolutely no mitogenic potential. Why we require a new basal insulin? Yeah, that is one question which should be answered. We have NPH as a human basal insulin. Of course, even though it is good, it has got a huge, significant intra-subject variability, resulting in significant glucose variability. The same is true with both glargin and even with detima. Though the glucose variability is relatively less and the hypoglycemic tendency is also relatively less. But if you consider the new basal insulin, the clinical trials and studies have proven to have less glycemic variability, insignificant glucose variability, within subject variability is released, and it has got a lesser nocturnal hypoglycemia when compared to the existing basal insulins, both in type 1 and in type 2 diabetes. And what about the steady state? That's again important. Steady state is defined as when the input equals output. And the glutec reaches the steady state within 3 to 4 days of initiation of the insulin. So after 3 to 4 days, for example, if you are injecting 10 units, there will be a steady state of 20 units within the system and then only 10 units is eliminated. So, you can have the injection any time during the day, it doesn't change. And once this steady state is attained, it maintains a stable, flat profile with minimal tendencies for the occurrence of hypoglycemia. Because hypoglycemia or low sugar is supposed to be the major barrier for initiation and intensification of insulin. So my dear friends, though diabetes is a disease of more than 5,000 years history, the disease is still a challenge for all of us. Though we have a lot of medications for the treatment of diabetes, the illness results in frustrating, troublesome, devastating and very expensive complications. Approximately 15 to 20 years after its onset. Globally, treatment of diabetes is still challenging and remains a failure. That's the truth. And we require newer medications to overcome the present challenges in early initiation of insulin, in intensifying the insulin, combining with other insulins and with oral medications. What is the major limitation to the use of this insulin? One will be the higher cost since it is a new molecule. Second, it is a basal insulin. So it will be, it will be having an action only during the preprandial and during the nocturnal hours. So, if you have a hyperglycemia subsequent to intake of food, that is a postprandial hyperglycemia, which cannot be managed with oral medications, this insulin by itself may not be sufficient since it has got only a basal component. So, welcome to Trisipa. So, in India also, we are soon going to have this insulin and we consider our patients really fortunate to have this new insulin with tremendous potential 
minimal chances of hypoglycemia and providing flexibility in the timing of the shots with longer duration stable action supposed to be and proven to be soluble safe and stable thank you very much for viewing our video on trisipa insulin and thank you very much for your feedbacks from jodhdev's diabetes center jdc gems video team from kerala until next time goodbye